Just Jack. That's not just Jack. I was going to do just Jack. Come on, do it uh, right. No. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Idiot Tim Corbin. I'm just Jack. He does a lot of things, you know that, not just that. That is just Jack. There is no other just Jack. Falls on Instagram, Twitter, juicy content. It's so juicy. Get on the Twitter river. I'm sorry. Wow, you're a terrible person. I am making my child cry. Terrible, terrible person. Although I, I love so just Jack, loud. but Karen is the best character. Of course, you love Karen. The most. On is she Twitter. your is she your favorite character? Uh huh. She's fantastic. <laughs> I love Carol all Gray. Uh, also, if you haven't watched Will and Grace, watch it. Anyways, uh, today we are reacting to a trailer. Oh, good. It's called Love, uh, Love Sonia. Pop quiz, do you all remember why it's called a trailer? It's called Love Sonia. It has Rush Kumar Rao <gasps> and a couple other people, uh, but it's, read this. Right here. Okay, Love Sonia. It's inspired by real life events. Love Sonia is the story of a young girl's journey. Sister, right? Mm -hmm. That was weird. Uh, from the danger... Ah, okay. <laughs> it was cut off. Now I'll read the whole sentence. Inspired by real-life events, Love, Sonia is the story of a young girl's journey to rescue her sister from the dangerous world of international sex trafficking. Dang. Mm. Sounds like a fun watch. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think it goes without saying we hate that. <laughs> Here we go. Raj Kumar Rao, so I'm sure the acting's gonna be top-notch. Without sound, I'm, I'm thinking so. I am assuming. Mm. We know both of those men. I thought that was Demi Moore. I was gonna say something. Janti hai na mujhe. Rukne wali nahi hu main. Kuch bhi ho jaye Priti. Kaise bhi thoon kar nikalenge. Well, that looks like an incredibly difficult watch, uh, but it looks good. It looks important. Yeah, it looks it looks like one of those films that's like when you have to watch a film about the Holocaust. It's like you don't actually want to watch that. But, but you, you need know, to be informed. It, you need to be informed, yeah. and you need it, it's important. And people go through this stuff every single day, and it's the worst part of humanity that you're ha going to have to watch. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I've watched. I don't know how they do it. I just watched a, a documentary 
Um, I forgot what it's called. And when I say just, it was like in the past month. And it was undercover documentarians in Iraq who were uncovering the fact that there were um, priests there, um, holy men, leaders of certain regions in the area uh, who were in under the table sex trafficking and you know these people were risking their lives to to film this uh most especially and most difficult was the guy who had to go and pretend to be uh, a muslim arabic speaking iraqi going in undercover wanting to purchase girls to get these things where you can get married for an hour or two hours and it's just it's a verbal contract and because the priest conducts the ceremony you're considered married and then they can have sex with the girl and it's considered holy and then they can leave her and they were married for an hour and then she's typically left to become a prostitute um so this this story for sure and i was gonna say at the moment i saw her, i was like dang that woman looks a lot like demi moore which is crazy this is the first and time we're saying her. that's a huge actress yeah coming to india because this is an Indian film. This is not a Hollywood film. No, it's an Indian film. I love that she's in it. I had no idea. I guess idea. that's because it's the director of Slumdog and Life of Pi? Uh, yeah, the producer. Uh, no, no. Certainly. It's an international connection. It also may have to do with the fact that Demi may be very passionately involved with stopping sex trafficking. And so they reached out to her. It also has another big actor. He's not as big as Demi. But his name's uh, Mark Duplass. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I noticed that. I don't name. know if you know. Well, him, and there's two he, or three other freaking big heavyweights in Indian cinema in this thing, alongside Raj Kumar Rao. Yeah, Mark Duplass, he played Man in LA, so clearly it's a small part, but um, that's in, that's insane because that, this is the first time we're seeing these big actors yeah. back in in the regardless of what way awesome. in an Indian film, which awesome. is is fantastic. Mark Duplass, he, he he's been great. He's Got known for in the league, which is a Fenix football uh, mm -hmm. comedy show. Uh, but then he also was just in. We just saw him in um, the morning show. I have seen these. Yeah, good I show. You good show. Uh, Steve Carell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know of it. I just haven't seen yeah. it. Um, but that's crazy. Let us know how this is. Uh, uh, it looks, in terms of it's incredible quality, really good. Um, yeah, but it hard. looks like one of those that's going to be. You never want to watch a film about sex trafficking. It's not, it's like, it's like, I've never seen Precious because I've never been in the mood oh, to watch Precious. It's brilliant, hard, really hard to watch. That's what it feels like to me. Precious is an important movie that's yeah. so hard to watch. It's one of those things. It's like, I'm, I'm never going to be in the mood. Never. To pop in Precious. Yeah, same thing with Prisoners. I've talked about that film before with Hugh Jackman. Doesn't mean it's not worth uh, to watch. Doesn't yeah, mean it's great. It's hard. And that's the thing. I think I've, I've mentioned this before. I almost walked out of Prisoners. I mean, Everything you said. Yeah. People go through this, they don't have the choice. Exactly. You know? And I feel the same way, same about, way this. about this. I would prefer, in all honesty, I would prefer, like most people, most of us prefer turning our backs and ignoring the horrors that are going on every day because they're just so difficult to... to stomach but there are times that we have to open our eyes and look and be reminded about the fact that i mean that stat at the end over 200 girls a day in india and india isn't even one of the major culprits you hear about most of the time you hear about it in other locations in the world that are even higher in terms of kidnapping girls and putting them into sex slaves uh yeah i gotta watch it Gotta watch it. Yeah, it's Rush Kumar Rouse. You know the acting is going to be top notch. Yeah, this whole cast is impressive, as is the production company. Um, I, I, it, I'm just, I'm surprised I hadn't, we hadn't seen this Heard trailer that. sooner. It seems like one that would be, if it was good, nominated for an Oscar for a foreign film. This is a category, like a, a subject matter that would win. Yeah, and an Oscar. So let us know how this is, if it's worth a watch. Uh, it just may be. It's too real. Might be. Yeah, it may be. It just is too real and people just have a hard time sitting through it. Maybe. Yeah. Let us know. Let us know.